here. We're down here at turn number one now with the driver number 82 car, open wheel modified standout slash pro late model rookie contender at the Delaware Speedway. Coming out of London, Ontario, it's Justin DeMello. And Justin, welcome back to the tour, my friend. This will be your third start of the season with the Oscars, and uh, it's got to feel great to get back in the modified. I know that uh, you run the late model, you started in trucks, but but you really love this, uh, this open wheel stuff more than anything. Oh, this modified class is the best. Uh, open wheel racing all around. It's the best. It's uh, the drivers themselves are clean and uh, it's fun. Now tell me a little bit about this chassis because I know it, it's quality equipment. It's won a lot of races. What's the history on this 82 car? Ah, uh, well, I don't know the year of it, but uh, Jamie Cox he built it uh, right out of his backyard there, and uh, I bought it from him uh, three years ago, and he's got he's built two, so he's still got the other one himself. So. Now that's an excellent segue to my next question because you led a load of laps at Delaware last week and it was the flamethrower Jamie Cox that slipped past you late in the going. Uh, did your success at Delaware in round two of the series sort of uh, lead to you being here uh, this weekend at Sunset? Uh, no, no, we already planned to be here already, but uh, yeah, last weekend, it's tough. It's uh, the way these rules set, it's tough for the crate motor to be competitive, but we're giving it our best in uh, every track we go to, and that's it. Now, what does the schedule look like for the rest of the season in terms of, of the modified? Well, I, I'd love to do as much modified racing as possible, but uh, we do run the late model at Delaware, so uh, I do plan on coming to a fourth race, another uh, Peterborough race, and definitely on colors. Now, I want to talk a little bit about Delaware Speedway and about the, the late model, because you, you've got a phenomenal division out there. You jumped right into the deep end of the pool. I mean, you were racing against quality guys on the modified tour, but some of those late model guys, golly, you got a great roster, and uh, it, it's definitely been a learning curve for you. Tell me a little bit about your 2013 rookie season so far. Uh, well, late model uh, cars are totally different than the modifieds. Uh, a lot more setup goes into them, do definitely different tires, and uh, the drivers are actually phenomenal. Yes, uh, Matt, Matt Pertigo, he's uh, one of my teammates. He does a great job out there, and he's teaching me a lot too. What's been one of the most important things that you've picked up since hopping into the into the full body late model at the beginning of the season? Uh, well, they're definitely a lot more aggressive uh, of our drivers. Uh, when, you, when you put fenders over the tires, it's you don't know where the front end of the car is at that point. Now, heading into this year, what was your main goal? For, for you to be able to look back on 2013 with the late model and, and be happy with what you accomplished, what do you need to get done before the end of the season? Well, definitely I'd love to win a race uh, as a rookie year, but uh, top five in points, that's main thing. Now, I know you got a lot of marketing support. Go ahead and thank the people that get you to the racetrack. Uh, well, LED2, uh, which my father owns, uh, Emco Waterworks, JNF Ready Mix, uh, Tormont and uh, Ground Matches. Now go ahead, we're going to put this up on YouTube. How can we follow you on social media? Because I know you're, you're a popular guy, you got a fan following. Let's get you some more Twitter followers. How can we check you out? I wish I had one, but I don't. But the uh, website is uh, la2construction.ca. <laughs> there you go, folks. It's driver number 82. Check them out on Friday nights at Delaware. www.delawarespeedway.com. My man Justin DeMello. Justin, best of luck tonight, my friend. Thank you.